judgment in the matter of R on the application of Samuel Smith Old Brewery, Ted Caster and others versus North Yorkshire County Council. Lord Carnworth will summarise the reasons for this judgment. Uh, the issue in this case, by contrast with some cases, is relatively simple. It is about the meaning of the word openness in paragraph 90 of the National Planning Policy Framework. That provides, quote, certain forms of development are not inappropriate in the Green Belt provided that they preserve the openness of the Green Belt and do not conflict with the purposes of including land in the Green Belt. There then follows a list which includes mineral extraction. This case concerns an application for permission for an extension of a limestone quarry in the Green Belt in North Yorkshire. In February 2016, the Council's Planning Committee accepted the officer's recommendation that planning permission be granted. The officer's report had summarised the views of the appellant's principal landscape architect, who did not object in principle to the proposal, but drew attention to certain landscape impacts. Then, in a section headed, quotes, impacts on the green belt, the report discussed the issue of openness under the uh, paragraph 90, but it did not deal in terms with visual impacts. The objectors brought these proceedings challenging the decision. One ground was that the officer's analysis of openness was wrong in law because it treated visual impact as irrelevant. And the Court of Appeal, disagreeing with the High Court, upheld the challenge. They held <coughs> that the report was defective in failing to make clear that under paragraph 90, visual impact was potentially relevant to openness. And they thought, in fact, that it was clearly so in this case in the light of the impacts identified <coughs> in the landscape assessment. Now, the Supreme Court unanimously allows the appeal in a judgment given by myself. Read in its historical context, openness in paragraph 90 is a broad policy concept linked to the purposes of the Green Belt, which is principally about separation of communities and restricting urban sprawl. It is not necessarily a statement about the visual qualities of the land, nor does it imply freedom from all types of development. Certain categories, including mineral development, are identified as potentially appropriate. The relevant paragraphs of the officer's report addressing openness must be read together. So read, they cannot be seen as treating visual impact as necessarily irrelevant in law. Rather, the relatively limited visual impact identified in the landscape appraisal fell short of being so obviously material that failure to address it expressly was an error of law. This was a matter of judgment and raised no legal issues, and accordingly the Planning Commission should be reinstated. The court is now adjourned. <clears throat>